everyone. Okay, today we will be discussing about characteristic of scientific research. Okay, and we are very lucky today that we have here with us a very special guest, Associate Professor Dr. Arun Kumar, who will be sharing with us on the characteristic of scientific research. Please, Prof. Hi, everyone. This is a very important topic to understand before we start any research, the characteristics of a scientific research. Uh, there are eight characteristics of uh, scientific research. These are purposiveness, rigor, testability, replicability, precision and accuracy, objectivity, generalization, and parsimony. In order to say that your research is scientific, you have to ensure all these characteristics inside your research. So how to do that? First, the objectivity, um, purposiveness mainly related with the objectives of the research. It ensures that your research has something to achieve. And without having that objectives, none of the research can consider as a scientific research, followed by rigor. Rigor mainly focus on the theory that whenever we have to develop any sort of concept or conceptual framework, it has to have some sort of foundation from the theories and that is called rigor. Third point was testability. It's mainly related with the hypothesis or the proposition. As a researcher, we must synthesize our concept which need to be tested. It can be in a qualitative method or in a quantitative method. However, whatever the method you use, you must propose something to test, which consider as testability. Number fourth is called replicability. The replicability mainly ensure that your idea can be replicated by the other's idea and also can be tested in a different context. For example, motivational theory in US culture and motivation theory in Malaysian culture when you test both it is called replicability so it allows the researcher to test their hypothesis in a different context the fifth point is called precision and confidence precision and confidence mainly related with how much confident you are giving based on your sample size the more the sample size it ensures the higher the precision and confidence the sixth point is called objectivity. Mainly the objectivity comes from the data analysis. It means that every analysis must have an objective. It's not that you randomly give a conclusion. Your objectivity, uh, the data analysis must be related with your objectives as well as your hypothesis. The seventh point of this characteristics is called generalization. When we give any sort of conclusion, it must be generalized, not specified for any group or any uh, or, or few peoples. It must be generalized either for this industry, for the world or for at least a society. The higher the generalization, the more the value of the research. Last but not least, it's called parsimony. Parsimony mainly focus on the important aspects of the research. Probably when you find the variables, independent or dependent, you could include many variables in your research. However, it is not suggested due to the many limitations. For example, time limitation, cost limitation. So in order to overcome all those things, we have to ensure that in your research, you select only the important concept, which is related with your context. And that ensures the economic of the research. The concept of economic of the research comes from the parsimony. It ensures the best for your research. That's all for today. Wish you all the best. Thank you, Prof. All right. I hope you are now very clear about uh, scientific research and its characteristics. Thank you. Bye.